Well, you know, I, uh, as a, a gardener, I love to get my hand into my grandfather's uh, garden fork because he brought it to Australia uh, and it was originally made in the 1800s. And I love to have it in my garden shed just to say day to him every day I go out into the garden with it. So, uh, but once I started going to college, I realised that science and gardening come together. We uh, are supported by R&D uh, and there's a lot of R&D that happens that we don't really, we just see the benefits at the end result. But uh, Dr. Yui's uh, from Neutrog's on the phone uh, and uh, he's the head of uh, R&D at Neutrog. G'day, Yui. How, uh, Yui, how are you? Yeah, good day. Very well, thanks, Graham. Yeah, I thought it uh, not a bad idea to give a bit of an update of one of the projects that we're currently working on. So I know we all know that plants are subjected to attacks by insects and fungi and bacteria. And, uh, you know, traditionally we've used various chemicals to combat this, but we're finding resistance in insects and a number of the previously available agents have been taken off the market because of safety concerns. So, And if you're trying to control, you know, bacterial or fungal attack, this is even more difficult because especially once they've entered the plant tissue, you can't really attack them there. So, And if you overlay that then with other stresses such as extreme heat or lack of rain, it actually becomes much more difficult for gardeners. So what does the future hold for controlling these pests, Yui? Well, chemicals will always play a role, but now there's also a shift towards using biological control agents. So in, in this case, you fight insects with predatory insects or by using some of the bacterial control agents. So by having a diverse group of soil microbes which compete with pathogenic bacteria and fungi, you get some biological control. But on top of this, there are some microbes that even strengthen the plant's own defences. And at Neutrog, we're working in, and isolating and testing a range of fungi called trichoderma, which are really great biological control agents for a range of plant diseases. This is interesting because it's, in human health, we're all starting to say, you know, if your gut's good and strong and healthy, it can fight off a lot of problems that otherwise would knock us for a six. In the garden, it sounds exactly the same. Very interesting. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing? Yes, yeah, certainly. So Nutrug has recently obtained a grant to work together with the Western Sydney University Hawkesbury campus and they're really leaders in the field of soil microbiology. So what we've done is we've isolated, purified and sent some of these potential fungal biological control agents to the university for testing. Initially in the glass house and eventually it'll be tested out in the field. So a number of our samples have shown great results in controlling fungal pests and even some of those oomycytes, this is Pythium, Pythium might know Pythium because it causes those round, dead spots in your lawn. So uh, trichoderma is great at controlling that because it can live in a diverse soil environment and it controls both fungal and bacterial pathogens. So, and it strengthens the plant defences. It's an all-round good guy. So you can even find trichoderma actually in, in go-go juice. Wow. Well, I, I've often, uh, yeah, it's very hard to control. Back in my greenkeeping days, uh, to control uh, uh, pythium in, in lawns. Uh, and uh, for home gardeners, all the chemicals that were available no longer are. And you're quite right. So maybe I should recommend go go juice for that uh, little problem on your lawn. Well, this chat is, uh, that you've given our listeners just a little uh, insight into how innovative Neutrog really is. And it's one of the few companies in gardening that's really at the forefront of research and development. Uh, a novel and effective biological control agents uh, is coming our way sometime soon in the future. Uh, Yui, thank you very much for the update. No problems, Graham. Have a great week. Yeah, yeah, you too. Okay, well, if you've got those problems on your lawns, maybe go-go juice might be the answer. Uh, it's, uh, it contains some trichoderma. Isn't that interesting? Fascinating stuff.